Many people look to use power line adapters alongside their existing Wi-Fi network, but can they interfere with each other and will performance be impacted? I'll cover all of this and more in today's video. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Home Network Geek, where we talk about everything home networking. If you enjoy this video and find it helpful, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's jump straight in and find out if power line adapters can interfere with Wi-Fi. You'll be pleased to hear that power line adapters won't interfere with an existing Wi-Fi network. They can actually work well together in the sense that when you remove a device from a Wi-Fi network and move it over to a power line network, you free up capacity and bandwidth on the Wi-Fi network for the other devices that are still connected. Now if you have a device that doesn't use a lot of bandwidth and isn't very demanding in terms of needing a network connection, you may not notice a huge difference when you move it from Wi-Fi to Powerline. But if you were to move over your main PC, for example, that you use to game online or stream video content, you could well see an improvement in performance. Now this isn't just on the PC itself, remember, but for all of the devices that are still connected to Wi-Fi. This is because the PC is no longer there using up bandwidth, making it available to the other devices. In fact, many gamers have reported quite a substantial increase in performance when moving their hardware from Wi-Fi over to Powerline. Not only did their overall speeds increase, but they also saw a decrease in lag, buffering, and ping times. While I was performing various tests with my own Powerline adapters, my partner continued to watch Netflix on the TV that's connected to Wi-Fi quite happily. This definitely reassured me that Powerline adapters don't interfere with Wi-Fi, as not only was I powering the adapters on and off quite frequently, but streaming video content online is one of the more demanding tasks that you can ask of your home network. Powerline adapters can absolutely work alongside Wi-Fi on the same network, as they use two very different methods. Wi-Fi, of course, uses wireless signals to connect all of your wireless devices together alongside your router, whereas Powerline adapters will generally use a wired connection. The majority of Powerline adapters will only provide you with the facility to connect devices using a wired Ethernet connection. But there are some that can also allow you to use Wi-Fi, either by acting as a Wi-Fi extender which allows you to continue using the same SSID that you're used to, or by creating their own mini Wi-Fi network. Although just by looking at them, you would assume that Powerline adapters work wirelessly, they actually make use of the existing electrical wiring found within your walls to function. Although it's not exactly the same, you could almost imagine that there's a very long ethernet cable that goes to the device that's plugged into your Powerline adapter from one of the ethernet ports found on your router. It's just that the majority of the cable is hidden behind the wall itself. As a matter of fact, not only can power line adapters work quite happily alongside Wi-Fi, but they can also even help to improve the coverage of a wireless signal. This is because you don't have to worry about placing the power line adapters within range of the wireless signal that's already being emitted through your wireless router. Whereas you would if you bypass the power line network altogether and try setting up a direct connection with something like a Wi-Fi extender. Both the reliability and stability of the connection will of course heavily depend on the performance of the power line network though. So I would always recommend using a direct ethernet cable to connect your wireless access point or Wi-Fi extender to your router directly rather than placing a power line adapter in between. Performance on the power line network can be a bit hit and miss as it does ultimately depend on the quality of the electrical wiring found within the walls. Whereas you wouldn't have this concern when using ethernet as it generally provides the best overall performance and you don't have to worry about any interference from anything else. But going back to the original question on whether you can use power line adapters alongside a Wi-Fi network, the answer is yes, absolutely. And in fact, it, you can even see a performance boost from doing so. Many people will struggle with a Wi-Fi connection in their homes, and for this reason, say that power line networks perform better than Wi-Fi. A Wi-Fi network is well known to only have so many devices connected to it before the performance does begin to suffer. Adding just a few more devices to an existing Wi-Fi network can not only affect the performance of these devices, but also the other devices that are already connected. Wi-Fi only has so much capacity, and it is pretty easy for it to become bloated, which can result in slow performance, buffering, lag, and even regular connection dropouts. To put power line adapters to the test, I performed four different speed tests, each using a different connection type. These were being connected directly to the router using an ethernet cable, connecting to the Wi-Fi network that the router provides, connected to the ethernet port found on the power line adapter, and finally connected to the mini Wi-Fi network that the power line adapter was able to create. I was pleasantly surprised with the results that showed that power line adapters can perform just as well as 
regular Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and in some cases, even better. So based on these results, when I was connected to my power line adapters, I found that my download speeds weren't quite as high, but my ping response times were lower, and my upload speeds were actually a bit faster. The differences between the ping, upload speeds, and download speeds were pretty marginal. So if anything, this shows that power line adapters can be just as good as Wi-Fi, or even better in some cases, depending on what you're looking to optimize. For example, someone that is gaming online would probably be better off using a wired ethernet connection as this provides the fastest ping response times. Whereas someone else may favor using power line adapters as they offer a good balance between ping times, upload and download speeds. The quality of the electrical wiring found within the walls would be the biggest determining factor as to how well your power line network will perform. But they can face interference from other devices that are using the same electrical system. This is to be expected when you consider that power line adapters ultimately connect up back to the main distribution board. For this reason, other devices and appliances that draw a lot of power and are left powered on for a long period of time can affect a power line network. An air conditioning unit is notorious for this, as not only do they draw a considerable amount of power, but they're also left on for many hours of the day, especially during the hotter summer months. To put this into perspective, your average air conditioning unit can draw between 3,000 and 5,000 watts of power when left on for nine hours a day during the summer. Now this is a considerable amount of power, so it's easy to see how a power line network's performance can be affected when the air conditioning unit is drawing so much power at the same time. Another common cause for power line adapters to not work as well as you'd expect is when they're plugged into extension cords. Some adapters may not work at all, whereas others will, but you definitely won't see the same performance gains from having them plugged directly into a wall outlet. So to wrap up the video, power line adapters will not interfere with an existing Wi-Fi network, and you can actually see a performance boost by moving devices away from Wi-Fi and connecting them to Powerline instead. So I hope you enjoyed this one and you found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you fancy trying some Powerline adapters out for yourself, I'll leave some Amazon affiliate links in the description box below for you to check out. Finally, if you haven't already, be sure to pay a visit to homenetworkgeek.com where I have a ton of articles that cover everything home networking. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.